Hello and welcome to another episode of the exciting, informative, um, show I guess about healthcare policies. Okay, so the main ideas in healthcare policy is that、um, there are huge disparities in health when there are inequalities in income. And of course, this is very pronounced in the United States. And even despite、um, United Kingdom's national health services, they still have this disparity. And why is that? Well, it's because、um, health is actually determined by other things than medical care, such as education and your income. Okay. So, we learn from the United Kingdom's example that、um, universal access to medical care does not equal the elimination of health disparities by income. Okay, of course,、um, the health status of all the、um, people in the United Kingdom have increased because of universal access, but there's Still, this disparity. Okay, so there are two theories to why this disparity still persists, even despite the universal access.、Um, of course, the first one I've already said is the social production of health, that's related to income, education,、um, social status, and the other explanation is the economical one. Is that the rich people would use their income and their education for pleasure, such as in reading,、um, while the poor would have to use their body more for pleasure and production, such as smoking. Okay, so onto the social determinants of health. Education is definitely a big one. Did you know that a mother's education is a big factor to how healthy people are in the nation? Most people would say that this is because of the dietary choices that the mother would make in family,、um, the you know the schooling of children that would later determine the health status of her children. And of course,、uh, whether these kids would have immunization shots,、um, how much the family would exercise, etc., etc. So it is very important for women to have education to increase the health status of a nation. Okay, so on to more about health and education correlations.、Um, we know that for each year,、um, a person. Have of education,、um, it decreases their mortality rate by eight percent.、Um, of course, we think that education is also correlated with income. The more education you have, the more income you have.、Um, again, education also leads to investment in a safer job,、um, more medical care,、um, better habits. For example, you wouldn't smoke as much. Um, another factor that people think is a social determinant is race and race. Sorry, excuse the accent.、Um, and ethnicity. Again,、um, racial and ethnic minorities have poor health status at every income level.、Um, but they've also found out that the income and education gradient. Also trumps the racial and ethnic differences. So somehow all these are tied in. I guess the racial minorities do not have as much education, or have lower income than the、um, other races. Okay. So since there's the social factor of health, we should determine that social. Policy also affects health outcomes of the population.、Um, 
again, we've seen that with the federal benefits to the elderly, um, it has increased their longevity. Of course, I'm not exactly sure how much Medicare and Medicaid factors into this, but um, social programs like housing assistance, food stamps, have all helped the health outcomes of the elderly um, since the 1970s. Um, again, we should be um, expanding <laughs> policies towards the elderly and kids. Um, for kids, this is more like an investment. For elderly, it's like a consumption. Um, again, while lawmakers are making social policies, um, they should think about how it can help the neediest of the population. Um, how we should be investing in children earlier because 90% of the human brain is developed by age three. Uh, most of the program are um, from K to 12. Um, again, we should have education programs, especially for women. Um, and we should also have supportive communities because communities are a huge factor um, that affect your health status. Um, again, we should also decrease income inequalities and we should also have a health barometer to gauge the um, health of the population. And again, my advocacy for more public health dollars spent. And the next video will tell you about the difficulties of uh, working with public health than the healthcare system, which trumps public health. Anyways, uh, more later. Thank you for seeing this video. Once again, I am Linda, and I'll see you more in my other videos.